After four months at sea and 8,000 nautical miles, the Plastiki's voyage is finally over. Kept afloat by 12,500 plastic bottles and powered by solar energy, the crew's message has been simple. Rubbish is choking our oceans. It's everywhere. So what we have to do is figure out what we can do with it, how we can reuse it, and how we can lessen these plastic fingerprints on our planet. The Plastiki is the brainchild of self-styled British adventurer David de Rothschild, his latest attempt to promote a cleaner, more sustainable planet. His team set sail from San Francisco in March with a mission to educate people to reduce, reuse and recycle, especially plastic, which makes up 80% of the ocean's rubbish. The Plastiki's journey has been about drawing attention to the rubbish in our oceans. Some 13,000 pieces of plastic cover every square kilometre of the seas. Much of it has been washed in there from coastal areas, but there's also plenty that's been simply dumped overboard by ships of all sizes. Here on Sydney's iconic harbour, there's no shortage of supporters of clean seas. Ian Kiernan is chairman of the Clean Up the World campaign and an accomplished ocean racer. He says the rubbish in our oceans is a mammoth problem on the scale of climate change. This is another threat to humanity because it's more than just a rubbish issue. That plastic, which is made from oil in most cases, is getting into the food chain and is getting into us. One of the biggest problems is in the Pacific Ocean. Two giant rubbish dumps sit either side of the Hawaiian Islands. Known as the Pacific Garbage Patches, their swirling underwater currents hold an estimated 100 million tonnes of debris. For the crew of the Plastiki, this journey has been a great adventure but one with a purpose. I think the hard work begins today. It's about trying to sort of explain this really dumb issue that we have. We've got this crazy problem with plastic in our ocean that is not abating. We've got this addiction to single-use plastics. Um, you know, I wish we were standing here today saying we've solved the problem, but obviously we're a long, long, long way to go to doing that. The crew will be looking forward to a well-earned rest. There will be many voyages ahead. Alison Rourke, Al Jazeera, Sydney.